Hi everyone, first video of the new year. Quite often it happened in my professional career working and collaborating worldwide and across countries that people mispronunciated my name. For instance, my name is Giuliano, but many times I heard Guiliano, Guiliano. Now there is a new feature in Microsoft 365, more specifically in Teams and Outlook that helps colleagues to pronunciate correctly your name. Okay, let me show you how you can take advantage of it. Let's go. You have two possibility to record uh, the pronunciation of your name. You can use Microsoft Teams or Outlook. Let's do that in Microsoft Teams first. So let's go over the profile picture and then let's click uh, on the name. Now here, what I can do is clicking on the icon, on the new micro icon next to my name, I can start recording my voice with the right pronunciation of my name. This will be stored in the mailbox storage and you can record up to 10 seconds. So let's do that and let's see the final result. Now that I recorded the right pronunciation of my name, the icon here is changed. So I can play now the right pronunciation or I can retake a new one by deleting this. I recorded just two seconds. So let's see the final result. Now, if I want to do the same in Outlook or in the new Outlook, all I need to do is go over Outlook and then let's go over my name. This will open a panel and right here I have again the same user interface and the experience that we have seen in Teams. So I have this icon, I can click on this one and then I can, I can delete the existing or I can create a new voice recording. So let's see now from another user perspective. I change the perspective now, I am impersonating Adele Vance. I received an email by Giuliano, so if I go over the name, the same panel shows up and I have this new icon available. I can click here to listen the name pronunciation. Let's do that. So this feature is exactly the same that we have now on LinkedIn. Short info and useful tip for IT admins. This feature is off by default. If you want to make it available to all your users in your organization, you have to consume the Microsoft Graph API. And as IT admins, you can enable this, this feature. Now, this is the entity name pronunciation settings. Going and opening the update method, which require to run a patch method, there we go. You can use then this endpoint admin people name pronunciation to set the property to true that you want to enable it. So here are listed the last privileges that you need to use and consume this uh, Graph API endpoint. You have also on the right the higher privileged, but this is the one that you need if you use an application permission approach. People settings dot read write dot all. Now scrolling down, let me show you an example of requests that you can run in order to enable this feature. For the moment, this is, this one is available under the beta endpoint. So. This is the endpoint again, admin people name pronunciation, and this is the body that you have to write in your patch request. Is enabled in organization? True. And then you are going to get this kind of response with 200 because you get the response that is succeeded. And then you have the ID of the operation and is enabled in organization? True. That's it. And then this will be available across your organization. All right, if you find this video helpful, please consider to subscribe and like. Drop a comment down below. If you want to see more video around Teams, drop the word Teams and I will understand it. All right, I hope to see you next time.